your tiny wings and fly away. Anne Murray was Canada's first pop export. The singing sweetheart crossed the border in 1970 with Snowbird, her first nugget of AM gold. We're not gonna let her get away that The success landed Anne a regular spot on the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. In 1973, Anne struck again. Her cover of Loggins and Messina's Danny song went top ten. The following year, she took home her first Grammy for Best Country Album, Love Song. After having two children, Anne roared back in 1978 with You Needed Me. It was her first number one and earned Anne her first pop Grammy. You put me high upon a pedestal Anne spent the next 20 years scoring hits on the pop and country charts. She was also a TV regular, appearing on over 40 Canadian specials and more than 30 American shows, including... It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest star, Anne Murray! Yeah! Oh, Anne? Anne Murray? 15 seconds of curtain, Miss Murray? Thanks, Scooter. Is skateboarding allowed in the theater? Nope, strictly forbidden. For some dumb reason, though I don't know why. I just remembered the reason. So where is Anne Murray now? When she's not on the links indulging her favorite pastime, you might find her on stage, singing with her daughter Dawn for a cause. I want you to tell me why you walked out on me. In 1999, Anne went public with Dawn's struggle with anorexia. Sheena's Place, a Toronto Center for Eating Disorders, approached her for help. They needed to raise money and they came to me. Knowing that I had been suffering with Dawn over the last several years, Dawn and I decided that we would perform together and uh, that we would go public with her illness. It was a very courageous move on her part. And also helping her hometown of Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. In 1989, she opened the Anne Murray Center. It's a non-profit organization. People come to see uh, gold records and awards that normally people would not get a chance to see. We've come a long way, all, all this do-gooding hasn't slowed down Anne's career. In 1999, she released her 32nd record, a collection of inspirational tunes called What a Wonderful World. After selling 24 million albums and winning a record 25 Junos, that's the Canadian Grammy, and still connects one-on-one -on -one with her audience. Somebody discovered that I had an email address, so he sent me this email, and it, it was a little letter to explain to me that my mother still gives out the best Halloween treats in all of Spring Hill. You know what she was giving out this year? Pictures of me, you got it! <laughs>